What's going on, everybody? Hopefully your weekend started out good. Um, currently, I'm probably on my way home from the Lexington card show, so this video should be popping up either during my drive home or just as I'm getting back. And it was just one of those things I wasn't too sure if I was going to end up going, uh, mostly due to shipping out packages. And I got anybody's stuff that's been purchased as of like 4 p.m. Eastern on Friday out today. Um, with that being said, I don't know if anybody's stuff will go out Saturday. Just for the fact that I got to drive an hour and something to this show until I get there and get back. The post offices may be closed. So just be aware if you go to the store and you buy a box, it may not go out till Monday. So just want to give everybody a heads up on that. I'll get a video of the show. Hopefully it's decent. Uh, the dealer that I bought most of my stuff from last time has not called me to say he was in route back. So it kind of scares me. I don't know what I'm going to find down there. But before we get into the actual big part of the video, this finally came in from Canada. This has been on my bucket list for this year. This is uh, Sidney Crosby's Black Diamond Rookie 9.5. When I was, uh, when Crosby's rookie year, I got into four case breaks for this off of, uh, I don't know who it was, sports card, etc. I don't forget where it was. But anyhow, it's off a of hobby insider net. I couldn't hit one. Vowed I'd never buy one, put it on the bucket list. This came available. It was a pretty good price. The guy shipped it just in a bubble envelope, though. I mean, there was no pat, nothing really to it. I mean, it was like one of them eBay flat bubble wraps. It didn't have a whole lot of protection, so I was surprised it made it here and wasn't cracked or anything. But this is going to the old PC collection. Figured I'd share it with everybody um, before I put it away for a while. Probably never get to see it again for a while. But uh, one of the ones I wanted to pick up of him is the quad diamond, of course. Very hard pulls. But four cases, I couldn't get one. Craziness. But now I own one, so I'm happy. Happy if it showed up. And in one piece, no cracks, no chips, nothing like that. All right, guys. So basically, on June 15th, I bought a card off of eBay. The idea behind it was I was trying to find something for a giveaway, and I wanted to use something where it had a lot of upside. It was a card trending down, but I knew once it the player came back, it would start trending up, depending on his performance. But it was a Luis Roberts Stadium Club rookie, PSA 10. So paid for it right there in the spot, waited a week. Following week after like six business days, I sent an email to the guy, hey, you got tracking on this? Nothing's showing up. My informed delivery. I get crickets. So I have to check the other options it listed that day. Everybody left in positive feedback. They received their card quick and everything. So as of today, which is Friday, I had to go through, process the, um, I guess you could say chargeback. And eBay gives them three days to respond to it. I'm like, okay, but I don't want the card no more. The dudes are already too late on to it. I mean, it's not like he could mail it today and it's, it gets here. Well, it could get here Monday. But it was just bad business all around. I think at the time frame, it sold for about 20 bucks lower than the other comps on to it. Maybe that's the reason behind it. No idea. I'm going to pull it up just so you guys can see. Boom. This is the guy, too. Wax Pack 7. You can see one negative feedback, that's me. Oops, you can see one negative feedback, that's me. And I'll scroll down to show you. That's what I picked up at Stadium Club Blue Broad PSA 10. The idea was to use it for a giveaway uh, on a channel. So I'm going to look for something to show tomorrow instead because this really just upset me. The guy never did. You can see my thing, purchase item June 15th, and the seller has failed to ship the item after 10 days. Uh, failed to upload tracking number, failed to answer my email pertaining if the card shipped and had tracking, will not buy ever again. So I'm just putting it out there. I mean, guy had 100% feedback until then, which just really, really upset me. Uh, if you go here, and I'll show you guys, if I go to view other items. So remember, June 15th is when I bought it. Slow today. I got to reboot the computer because it had an update that needs to be done. So we go to his sold listings, maybe, kind of, huh? Maybe the computer will work. It's saying I got to install some updates and stuff, and I kind of stalled it out. 
There's my Lou Bob right there. Oh, the other ones are not on here now. Well, that's odd. I bet you guy didn't ship anything out because when I looked at this the other day, there was like four or five other sales. And, uh, huh, not on there. Odd. But anyhow, you never shipped out. You never know why, what. But hopefully the refund will come out eventually back to me. I don't know how they do it now. If they ship it back to my bank, give me credit on my account. I got no idea. If anybody's done under the new program, just let me know. But if you look, look at this. All this stuff here. Food, fast delivery, good seller, great card, all this stuff. Nothing. But it just shows you any time somebody can go bad. I mean, I reach out by email, and I mean, as a seller, sellers should be reaching out to me if there's an issue. And it never did, so you got my negative feedback for the year. Probably the first negative feedback I've left in two or three years. I'd have to really go back and search. But other than that, everybody, hopefully I did well at the show today. I, I'm taking, I, basically my idea behind it was I was going to take X amount of cash and see what I could get. Now, it excludes if one of my top 24 cards that I'm still on my bucket list are looking for. Then I might go over the limit. But um, I was going to take X amount. I don't want to give that away because it's going to be another video. And to see what kind of deals I can get for that kind of money at the show. And try to pick up something to replace this that I was going to use for a giveaway on a channel. But right, everybody. Figured I'd put this out in case people have their block eBay list people. He's definitely on mine now. And if you don't know how to do it, just go into Google and put in eBay blocked, block buyer or bidder list or something like that. Because that way he can never buy from you and get you back. And it just blocks them out. They, they're banned against you. I think I got like, I don't know, I bet you there's over a thousand people on it now. But, alright everybody. See y'all later.